Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As the thumbnail says, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be bleeding the brakes. As you can see, my car is already up on the lift. We're currently doing a brake job. I decided to make a separate video to show you guys how to drain the brake fluid and bleed it so you have new brake fluid in your system. This is something that you should be doing to your brake system every two or three years just because the brake system absorbs moisture from the air and eventually you get too much moisture and the hydraulic fluid isn't as effective. To start the bleeding off, we'll go ahead and start on the rear passenger side, then we'll go to the rear driver's side, move over to the passenger front, and then the driver's side. That's going from the furthest away from the master cylinder up to the closest, and that's the order we want to bleed in. So on the Sienna, the master cylinder is down there hidden under the crow. The reservoir is up here. So what you want to do is, right now, since we put brand new pads and rotors on here, this thing refilled back up all the way to full again but it's all that old dirty fluid. As you see, it's black and brown, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and pump the fluid out. I'm gonna go ahead and pump it at the closest caliper, which is right here on the driver's side. We'll make sure that we fill out with new fluid and we don't pump any air through the system when we're draining it. As we add more fluid, we'll watch the hose on the bottom, the clear hose, and make sure we get clean fluid out, and then we'll close it up and we'll move on and drain the rest of the system and make sure we have this filled. All right, so we're on the driver's side. Go ahead and pump as much as we can in here. Don't fill up the bottle too much before we make sure the reservoir is full. So it uses an eight millimeter. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the eight millimeter, which is an odd size. Usually most of these bleed valves use a 10 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And then you need someone to help you and pump the brakes on the inside. So we open it up, so pump. So as we pump, we see the fluid coming out. And it's gonna be like a little bit dirty right now. I'm gonna try to pump as much as I can and then fill up the reservoir. Yeah, as it fills the bottle, you can see how black and green it is. Right there, you see that green fluid. See that dirty green fluid? You wanna make sure it comes out clear. So you wanna periodically check the reservoir, make sure you don't go down to the minimum. It's still close to max, so we just go ahead and keep on pumping it. Reservoir is halfway. So right now we got a regular 16 ounce bottle and then we're not even, we're maybe like a quarter way up. So figure about half to three quarters, we'll get close to the bottom. Close to min, so we'll pump it about 10 more times to get it down to min and then we'll fill the reservoir. All right, we're at the minimum now, so we'll go ahead and fill the reservoir. All right, so we're gonna be the furthest away right now. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this up. This one is a 10 millimeter, like I said, which is kind of an odd one because, well, the 10 millimeter is normal, the eight millimeter is odd. All right, go ahead and pump. It's a green fluid right now. You can see coming out of here. Pump it out until we start seeing it clear up a little bit and we'll move around to the other side, still all green. I'll go ahead and empty this into the empty one of my empty bottles and we'll start with a new clean bottle. Go ahead and empty the bottle. I also checked to make sure the reservoir was filled up and I topped that off so we could pump. All right, go ahead. So the fluid coming out right now looks pretty clear. It's still like a greenish yellow, but it's a lot clearer and not black, so. Go ahead to the other side. See, this is a lot greener than that side. We just pump this through, make sure it gets clean fluid. This green, dark green fluid. We're over here on the passenger side now. We go ahead and connect this up. All right, and then pump this one out. Pump. You see, this is still the dirty black fluid. As it goes through, you can start seeing the tube getting clearer and clearer as the new fluid gets its way out here. So we'll close it, stop. So that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver's one. And then we'll move to the back again just to make sure everything's clean. All right, pump. It's 
tube looks clean. Go ahead and dump this and we'll start with the empty bottle again and do all four corners again. All right, now that we've drained it and made sure we got everything topped up, we're gonna do a final bleed just to get all the air out and make sure it's all clear. You can see the bottle is empty right now and we wanna make sure we get clean fluid out. So pump. Getting light green, yellowish fluid. No bubbles in the line. So we'll go ahead and close that one off right here. Stop. That should be good there, bled. We'll go ahead and move around. Rear driver side. Pump. We get a nice steady stream of fluid coming out, clear or yellow. No air bubbles. Once everything looks good there, we're gonna close it up. Stop. All right, pump. Fluid looks clean right here. Tube is nice and clear. No air bubbles. Stop. Pump. Okay, stop. Nice and clear tube, and we're good. And that bleeds all four, so you wanna clean up all the residual brake fluid on the caliper and make sure it doesn't drip onto your wheels or anything, because this stuff eats away at paint. But pretty much everything's a light green, yellowish, and we should be good. All right, we're back up here at the reservoir. You can see right now, it's about halfway between the min and the max. You wanna to top this off when you have brand new pads because this thing's actually designed to tell you when the pads are high and low. Usually if the, you see this reservoir go down to minimum, that means your pads are worn down far enough where all the fluid is in the piston down in the calipers and not in the reservoir. So once you put new pads in, it actually goes back to max. So you never really wanna top this thing off unless you're doing a brand new pad change and you're bleeding the brakes. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in all the way to the end of this quick video on doing the brake bleed on the Sienna. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process as long as you have someone to help you pump the brakes. Other than that, it's just following the order and making sure you don't introduce air into the system and that you bleed everything out or you bleed all the old fluid out so the new fluid flows through the calipers and through all the lines. Anyways, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit the like button if you find this video useful, and turn on bell notifications to stay on top of all my videos as I upload upload them. Remember guys, for all these projects, whether it's on the car, on the house, or in the garage, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.